Good morning. Good morning. Rye guy here. It is January the 1st. We are here on at Grand Lake. On Grand Lake, not on the lake. Over here with Bruce, up ahead in the Can Am XMR 650. And John, who's running a, uh, I think an 08 Grizzly 700. We're just going to be doing a little bit of exploring today. And, uh, Hopefully it's not going to be too icy. It is cold, I'll tell you that much. Minus 25 when I woke up. So, let's uh, hit the trails and we'll see you guys out there. Not exactly sure where Bruce is taking us. I think we're just going to be doing a little bit of exploring today. Maybe find some new ground or we might head over to uh, Jim Horn Lake. I think that's what we're going to do. Here, maybe. These trails certainly haven't been used in a while. Rolling slow, up and down. I am full of coffee this morning. <laughs> Had a coffee when I woke up. Coffee at Tim Hortons and coffee at Bruce's place here. I'm going to be vibrating. running in a while. We're on to the snowmobile trails here now. It's cold enough we shouldn't bother the, the sled tracks. I can see this has already been used anyway. Ah, the trails are just frozen solid. I'm nice and warm. Trails are frozen. It's a nice day. It is cold. Cold as hell, but. I'll tell you, this old girl's gonna need some work. These burrs are getting pretty sloppy, again. But last time when I replaced the bushings up here, like I said, I never replaced the bushings down below. There's a little bearing that's actually pressed right into the frame. Well, not pressed, well, it's into the frame for the bottom end of the steering shaft here, and that's what's worn out. And because that's worn out, it wore out the other bushings on top here again, so. I got a list at home of the stuff I got to do to it. Hopefully get it all done. Well, it's not a matter of getting it all done. I don't want to get it all done, but the whole money issue. <laughs> Gonna be into it for a couple hundred dollars, I think. Uh, rear hubs, if I can find a new set of uh, newer style of rear hub for the bike, would be great. In 03, I think, uh, 03 and 04, they changed over the rear hub style, but they still kept with the same axle. So that'll be fine, as long as I can do that. Because that way I won't have to replace the axles, just the, uh, the hub. Or the knuckle, or whatever you want to call it. But, 
You gotta pay to play. That's how I look at it. Bike's paid for, so eh, whatever. If I gotta put a little bit of money into it each year, then I gotta do that. I'll be hard pressed to get the uh, end of next summer or this upcoming summer out of these tires. Like I said before, it's not a matter of the wear. They're wearing well, but it's the whole fact that when I bought these tires, especially the rear ones, they were on a really, really good sale. And I know why now, because they're weather checked on the side. I didn't know how long they've been sitting on the shelf when I bought them, but that's a good thing to ask, actually. Next, uh, next time you guys are after a new set of tires or whatever, you're at the dealership and they got them on sale, you ask them exactly how long have you had them in the shop and how long they uh, have been around. I think they're the same as like any other tire where they have a manufacturer date to them, but I'm not quite sure. It's a good thing to uh, do some, a little bit of research on something like that. Now, last time we were through here, um, I did a video and I was running the XMR. And last time we came through here, it was nothing but rock piles. So this is actually a pleasant uh, drive through here compared to what it normally is. <laughs> Still is pretty bumpy, but it's uh, one gigantic rock pile. What a gorgeous day. Man, I'm glad I got out. John's bike just floating over the trail like a like a big old heavy Polaris because he's got the suspension setting almost all the way to the soft, if not all the way to the soft, and he's got his rear sway bar uh, removed. Now, I had the rear sway bar removed on this bike a couple times, um, but it depends on what you're doing for driving. If you're going to be in rough trails all the time, he's a trapper, so he's in some really tight spots with that four-wheeler is, hunting and fishing and whatever right but me I, I i do like all kinds of stuff in the summertime i'm up to my camp most of the time which is uh it's a lot of road running uh which i normally don't like to do too much but again i haven't done too much exploring up that way so i'm gonna have to get in some of the other trails um but you I mean yeah these types of trails the rock crawling the tight woods trails power line running I would suggest taking your sway bar off because it makes it makes one hell of a difference for a smooth ride because you got to think about it an independent rear suspension bike with a sway bar is no longer independent it's dependent on the sway bar so when you remove that then you have a true independent rear suspension ATV <clears throat> You'll have to excuse my voice, it's cracking a little bit. I'm getting over a cold. I may be going through puberty again, I'm not quite sure. <clears throat> I'm trying to speak a little bit louder because so, I got my big thick uh, Bella Club on. I said it is cold. You got a skid place touching a little bit. <laughs> it's like a roller coaster. Big whoop section here. I need some new grips. They're getting more, especially that one, look. Geez, you know, I just thought of something. The last time I used this camera, I had it on the uh, medium setting, not the wide setting. Hopefully it's still at uh, 1080p, 30 frames per second with the wide setting on. That's what I normally record in. 
It's such a shame that YouTube compresses the video so much because, I mean, what I'm seeing now is not what you guys are seeing on the YouTube video. Those, for most of the videos for like GoPro and stuff like that, I don't know how they're getting that clear of a picture, but I mean, I got some pretty expensive programs on my computer uh, for video editing, but <laughs> I don't know, maybe it's something that I'm doing wrong or I don't know. I'd like to get a crystal clear picture, but you can't get that on YouTube. I'm doing a lot of talking, I'll shut up. Now, what have they got going on here? More development out in the middle of the woods. Picking up mud and stuff, mud and rocks, and I guess shit. I was trying not to swear, but mud and shit. Yeah! All new road, he said. Isn't that something? Going a little bit of half road and area by. I'd say we should go four wheel drive low. Or not. Wrong trail. Wrong trail. Labor and two-wheel drive. I don't want to burn too much gas. I filled the bike up this morning, and it took twenty-five dollars. It is this bike has never taken twenty-five dollars. It's because of that last run we did 110 kilometers, and I did it on one tank of fuel, and that was pushing snow. I was pushing a lot of snow, and uh, I didn't have my reserve tank with me. And I always, always carry a tank of fuel with me, so it's kind of costly how much I was using. <laughs> it was down to the very last few drops on the reserve tank by the time I got back to the car. To the woods running. My God, these are nice trails. Oh, a little bit of water. Oh, yeah, you go ahead and you break the ice. See, John did the same thing, took the uh, CV boot guards off his bike. the uh, snow build up or help not the snow to build up I guess I had a bunch of snow packed in the uh, skid plates and in the uh, air arm guards and man it took me a couple hours to dig all that it took everything apart the skid plate was frozen solid to the bottom of the bike I had to heat it up and oh yeah I was a pain in the ass didn't like that too much We don't need it, but we'll do it anyway.
the crawl. Back and forth. I missed it on camera. John went up through the ditch there. And he wheelied the bike, but he almost scraped the box right off the back of the bike. That's where we're headed is over in Granddaddy, Jim Warren Way. I never noticed a kind of a river running through there. Up we go, there we go. Oh yeah, what a nice section. Looking for a challenge, take that way. I think we've been on this trail before, I just can't remember. It was probably the summertime we were in there. I was with Bruce. Did you crack your fender off that tree? Mm -hmm. Is it broke? broke it. Oh, that sucks. Uh, oh well. Yeah. <laughs> Battle scar. Yeah. It's not too loud, though. No, no. What a excellent trail, eh? Oh, man, that's wicked. Actually, you know what, John? There's a fella in sack who welds plastic. Oh, that's nothing, yeah. At least you didn't bust out the whole piece. I I know, I, I seen the bike go up and I heard click, and I thought you might have hit your rack or something. I, I hit it just right, and I knew I, I was coming towards it. The bike was up in the air going to the left. There you go. I might have some trouble coming through here. Hung up. There's an ice jam underneath me. He's right there. Let me see now. I don't have as much ground clearance as what John does.
I'm out. I think that's uh I think that's the brakes, something jammed in the brakes. I think it's coming from the front. I think there's a piece of ice jam in the brake. play. Over there is Jim Horn Cabin. This is Jim Horn Lake right here. Is all gone, or is it? No, it's still there. Thought it was gone. Target practice. I can't see anything in dark in here. No. Oh yeah. Yeah. Do you ever spend a night here? Yeah, I, I did. I don't know if I'd want to sleep in that tent or, uh, uh, I'd bring a hammock. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know who owns it, you? No, I don't know who owns this one. Do you, uh, see that big buck that ran in front of us at the beginning? When we get on that five mile trail to come over to the grand end? Did you see it? No, I didn't see that either. Would have been about a ten pointer monster. Really? I missed him. <laughs> That's enough for judgment. Yeah, really. Something like that, baby. Now. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, like all kinds of phone numbers. And... Oh, yeah. For a good fuck, call not your girlfriend. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> We're not filming that, are we? <laughs> I can edit it.
Now, these are groomed snowmobile trails, and we are taking it very easy on the trails. And it is like minus 10 still. It's about 12 o'clock. So it's definitely gonna stay cold. As I said before, there's kind of like this unwritten rule for shared trails between the ATV clubs and the snowmobile clubs. The snowmobile clubs, they pay a lot of money. Um, they pay a lot of money because uh, they have to pay for things like trail grooming. And they only get to use the trails maybe a couple weeks out of the year especially around where this area is because we don't usually get a lot of snow, a lot of good snow to make uh, good natural trails. So, when it comes, whoa, that was deep. When it comes to uh, ATVers using the snowmobile trails, uh, it's best to stay off them unless it's at the very minimum, minus four, because right now we're not making any impact on the trails. You know, we're taking it easy, we're not tearing it up, we're not digging holes. The snow is nice and hard, it's got a hard base. There's absolutely no issue I can see with using these trails right now. It's not like an everyday occurrence. So, and the trails are beautifully groomed, they do a great job. But again, as an ATV here, I cannot justify uh, spending a couple thousand dollars on a snowmobile that you're only going to use a couple weeks out of the year. Not around here anyway. Unless you get the money to travel every weekend and the time, then go for it. But, uh, you know, I, I can understand the passion that they have because it's the passion that ATVers have. You get outside in the beautiful days like today and uh, you see, you know, nature, you see uh, all these beautiful sights when you're out sledding. Same as an ATV. But still, that definitely doesn't tickle my fancy spending that much money on a sled and you're only going to use a couple weeks. I see a sled's been through here since we've been through. A couple more bikes too. A little jump up through here. I think I see it. <laughs> see if Bruce wants to stop. There's Granddaddy. Oh, people have been going up and down. No thanks. Too icy. <laughs> oh, peer pressure. Just as uh, just as I say, nah, we won't try it. John's like, yeah, we're gonna try it. So okay, well, I guess we're doing it. Oh, jeez, I'm rough. Let's put her low here. If you recall, I did one video on my channel here. You should try and find it. I forget what it's called, but I flipped right over backwards. <laughs> She's greasy underneath. I'll tell you. I'll tell you what. Ah, rough, rough, rough. Ah, yeah. And there's where I flipped, like right back there. Top of the mountain, Mount Hill, whatever. Not too bad, it's greasy in spots, but okay. So we're gonna be doing the back way. Oh my. Okay. Well, let's try it. Okay, I know where he's going. 
was gonna say, don't go up that way. Back there, that's that's dangerous doing that time of the year, this time of year. Uh-oh. John's in trouble, but I can't stop. <laughs> I can stop here. That's a steep part to get stuck on. Yeah, you're better off backing up. Good choice. Good choice. Studs are staying in there. I say lost a couple. Whoa! Uh, oh, oh. He's in trouble. He almost flipped her. I don't know if you can see that through the trees, but... <laughs> He's got to give her. There you go. Ooh. Yeah, you better run. Whoa. This is a steep part of the hill right here. Jeez, John, you're a crazy man. Oh, shit. <laughs> Just come up the same way. It's too icy. Too icy underneath that. Screw that. Get my goggles off though. So I can see. It's making some good footage. There's tree skiing through here. You should, you missed him almost flipping like four times. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh I jumped right off my bike. <laughs> We're crazy. We all gonna die someday. And uh, we're probably not helping the cause. Ugh. Tree skiing. Okay. Don't know what you're talking about, Bruce, but we'll go. I hope I got enough film. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Jeez. Got my goggles back on, though. Just guess I get whipped in the face with a branch. No way I'm coming up, up through here. Yeah. Look at this. Oh, geez, pay attention. Okay, back and forth. <laughs> Tree skiing. Oh, yeah. Keep going. Need momentum. 
alive. We're good, we're good. That's cool, eh? Yeah, that's cool. I like, I like that rock that just ledges. Put a little mirror on the back of my hand or something so I can see if this camera's recording because I have to end up tilting it down like this in order to see that back light. Wow, this is tight. That's what she said. Uh, I haven't run with John in a long time. Good to get out in the trail again. Ah, right in the face. I know a way you take it too. You've seen us take this way in the springtime. It's just nothing but a cascade of water coming through here. This spring we'll get in some mud runners. I'll rig up my snorkels a little, little bit better. I'll do a, I'll strip the plastics off here in about a month's time and go over the whole bike. I gotta get proper goggles or something. I don't mind. I'm just wearing my motocross helmet. It's the only one with the camera mount in the front like this, but still. Whoa. Whoa, buddy. Phew, that stinks. Swamp water coming in from the top of the hill. All those swamps running right down this side and down the other side, but the other side collects water. This side it just cascades down like a waterfall in the springtime. These ruts are actually deeper than you think, deeper than what they look. Back to squeaking again. Oh yeah. I think we're not in a side by side. I'd say we're the first on these trails in a long time. Trail. God, that water stinks. <laughs> All organic stuff. Oh. I don't know. Someone else 
Spencer here. I think that goes like partway out Granddaddy though, right there. going how are we doing what we're we doing no idea but we're doing it uh, breaking trail oh bad decision I think he plugged her. I think he plugged her. I gotta get the winch on my bike, man. Yeah, he plugged her. lock for this one. This is quite the hole. I don't think she's going to make it. I can teach you how to drive sometime if you want. My motto is never go first. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, good old diff lock. That's all right. We made her. I still don't know where we're going. Nice trail through here though. Oh yeah, that didn't help. Oh no. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you're hung up now. Yeah. Try going backwards. Yeah, yeah I know. Some hole right there. Yeah. Sure. I went to that tree. <laughs> 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 yeah. 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 Yeah.
snow down my neck now. Yeah. That was unexpected coming down the other side. <laughs> Good man, that was fun. the subscribers, the views, the comments, the likes. If you like these videos, please subscribe for more and uh, I'll try my best to entertain you guys. <laughs>